During these waiting periods, I failed many times through my frustrations, complaining, and anger. I became too focused on the problems that I was facing. But the thing is, the process of waiting is just as important as the thing that we are waiting for. So what do we do when living in a period of waiting? In our world of fast-paced living, waiting can be a miserable time. We want things now, not an hour from now, and certainly not tomorrow or next week. In my experience, waiting is so difficult because it requires patience, which many struggle with, myself included. We may gripe and complain, become angry, fall into depression, or simply give up waiting on that answer to our prayers. However, the truth is that waiting is always part of the process, not just life in general, but even more so in our lives as a Christian. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Perhaps you are in a period of waiting on finding a job, meeting a potential spouse, having children, or wanting to retire. Maybe you are waiting for physical healing, or waiting to see a loved one set free from addiction or depression, or waiting to begin your calling from God that He has placed on your heart some moment in your past. I too have struggled with waiting at many different times in my life, from waiting on job promotions, to waiting seven years before meeting the woman God had picked out for me, to the difficulties and struggles in waiting to start a family, and the enormous waiting battle we faced when a hurricane destroyed our home in 2020. We had to live in seven places in six different cities during an 18-month stretch with three babies and a dog. During these waiting periods, I failed many times through my frustrations, complaining, and anger. I became too focused on the problems that I was facing. But the thing is, the process of waiting is just as important as the thing that we are waiting for. So what do we do when living in a period of waiting? Let's turn to the Word of God. The Bible has many examples of people waiting on God for something and the mistakes most made during the waiting process. But I want to focus on one short scripture about someone who had to wait about 30 years before he began fulfilling God's plan. Now, Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. Yes, the Son of God, who came to earth to save our souls, had to wait a long time before beginning his ministry. As a Christian, it is pretty safe to say that Jesus' teachings were very important. But in God's plan and in his timing, Jesus' ministry did not get started until he was around 30 years old. And it only lasted three years. Why couldn't Jesus start his ministry when he was in his early 20s? That would have given him more time to reach more people, right? But just like when we are wondering why it is taking so long for God to move in our lives, we need to remember what God said in the book of Isaiah. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. We will not always, if ever, have all the answers to why God does things the way he does them. But we still need to keep our trust in him because he has a plan for us. So what did Jesus do during his time of waiting? Well, we know from Mark 6, 3 that he was a carpenter. The only other scripture describing Jesus prior to the beginning of his earthly ministry was when he was 12 years old. Then he went down to Nazareth with them, meaning his parents, and was obedient to them. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. While waiting to fulfill his ultimate purpose on earth, Jesus was obedient to his parents and focused on his relationship with God and with others. Then later, once his ministry had started, Jesus gave the two greatest commandments, love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. This is what Jesus was doing during his time of waiting before his ministry started. So we should do the same. While you wait for God's promises to be fulfilled in your life, do not panic. Do not give up and do not doubt. Do not embrace anger and frustration towards God and do not isolate yourselves from others. We need to do as Jesus did. Love and honor God right where we are and find ways to show love to all the people around us. Regardless of what you're waiting on Him to do in your life, when you remain focused on God, we end up living a life more pleasing to Him. Remember, our enemy always wants us to stay focused on our problems instead of being focused on the problem solver. Dear God, words cannot really describe how incredibly awesome you are. Thank you for all the blessings that you've given us. If we are in a time of waiting, please be with us and strengthen us to be able to wait patiently until you are ready to act in our lives. Forgive us for the times that we have behaved dishonorably because we were focusing so much on our problems and not focusing on you. Help us, Lord, live a life that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.